Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. As you know, my name is Tere, and today I'm gonna be listening to That Kid, That Kid, That Kid album, Crush. Look at this album, can we just admire this album cover? Like, sure. So, let's dive into this album together, shall we? Okay, baby RuPaul, let's do this. I'm playing around versus that track. Okay, right out the gate. Let's go. Ooh, what a hot box. Yes. Whoa. I was not expecting that transition whatsoever. Oh, we back. <laughs> transition is crazy. It's crazy in a good way. I love how it, the song actually goes fast at this part and then like when he hits the chorus it's actually like a chorus is actually like in your feels and then he says go fast and it's like right back into it. Yes! <laughs> that transition it feels so good. Oh so that definitely a heart it's definitely a heart um go fast is one of those songs where you go fast and you're into everything and you're doing anything when Liz came in, I was like, who, who, what is happening? Ah! <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, the way the sound is like closing in around you. Woo. Okay, a uh, straightforward song. I love the way that song just feels, just sonically. Um, definitely puts you in that space and I love the moral of the song and like I want you and even if I have to put spells on you or something like that like I just want you to want me <laughs> you know um definitely a really great entrance for Liz uh, I was not expecting her to come in at that spot and it was really really good uh getting a heart <laughs> I did not want to participate in an orgy, so y'all gonna have to like. I wasn't even at. This part is delicious. <laughs> Okay, give me a minute. I love that feature so much. Oh, speaking straight facts there. Don't come back with the chorus. I, I really don't, I really don't like this chorus. I feel like it's so busy. Okay, I think that's what's happening. I really like the way they built that up and then in the chorus they bring those two beats together and they do not go together. Give me a, give me a second. What is this? It's a real good way to annoy the heck out of me. That song's not getting hard and it's just because of that chorus. They had such a good build up to the chorus where it was seven and then that beat and seven, then that beat, then they combined them. Dude, I understand that you're trying to mix the features. They had a very good feature. Why you need to combine both of the beats on the chorus, I have no idea. It did not go together. I, no, 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 no. Kiss me through the phone. 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 Nobody? Nobody? No? Okay. <laughs> just because of this intro, I'm getting it hard. <laughs> Didn't I just sing that before this song started? Like, 
that kid just like ah. Where was this? Where was where 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 was where was this? Where was this? Can I get a feature? <laughs> Can I go back in time and have them feature? Like, what the heck was this? I would have loved to hear a feature of Social Boy with that kid feature. Probably would have never happened. But I actually love this cover of the song. Period. Where's the feature? I'm offended. Like, I love this song, but I'm offended there was never a feature of both of them to- mm. Same. Same. We, we were hungry and we went to the mall. Same. I love it, I love it, I love it. Yes. Yes. Ooh. He has a lyric in here that says, I'm so spicy. And I kind of want to see if it's a Taco Bell lyric. Hold on a minute. A me. Oh, yeah. And boy, those spicy nachos, they were hot as hell. Just like you, I want to fuck you with the Taco Bell. Ah! <laughs> I love how... He is literally taking Taco Bell to the next level. It is one of my favorites. I love when something as big as or as small as Taco Bell, just the name of it, reminds you of a situation like this. I love it. Oh, I love it. I'm going to listen to that song again. Hmm. Why not? iPhone 3. If that doesn't date a song, I don't know what does. I don't know if I don't need to be the one acting like I'm when I was gone. Well, mm. uh oh, kiss and tell. Didn't that Selena Gomez has a kiss and tell song too? I think so. I see dead people. <laughs> It's like the tea is being spilt on this song. I don't like people who grunt and kiss and tell. It bothers me so much how many couples like tell other people that are they are not close to at all that something happened and think Oh, they'll be fine. Uh, you are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. And then all of this stuff happens. Mm, not a fan. Not a fan. Speaking truth facts. Dear shit your pants, the sixth grade is a true event to the same thing as a true planning for coming forward to be a virgin. And a true thing you went to the great for them. That can't announce Canada. Is it for your addiction to smartphones? That was a whole lot. A whole lot. I, I told you tea was spilt on this song. Uh, first of all, in the words of Lady Gaga, that's gossip. Second of all, that is literally how my entire high school life was like. And nobody could keep their mouth shut. Everybody was doing something. And everybody had to talk about it. And, and it's probably because I was a very sheltered child that I was like, Oh my God, somebody kissed underneath the bleachers? Like, <laughs> I was a very sheltered child. Um, I didn't even start listening to actual, like, Star 104 music until I was maybe middle school, high school. So, I, other than that, I was listening to gospel music. Yeah, Christian music. Brought up in my veins, Christian music. So, I can totally relate. Um, I never really clicked with my peers because of that, but... Once you get to high school and like middle school, that's when all of like all the feelings and puberty and uh, starts and it's just, I've never been a fan, never, never been a fan, I don't know why. Literally Kiss and Tell brought me right back to high school and I'm like, I don't want to go. <laughs> 
That was like go fast, but like ten times. No, yeah. I'm gonna need you to. Oh, okay. Let's do this. When he said make it wiggle, I thought of Jeffree Star immediately. So like, where's that collaboration? <laughs> favorite but I it's more me than this song just like seven minutes in heaven when and also a lot of uh, Charlie XEX does this a lot too with production wise when things are going on too much or it gets into this hold on a minute I'm bored like it, the, I don't know why it takes me out of the song, but it always does. When there's a long production that is like that, there's nothing for me to hold on to and I kind of get lost. That is a me thing. That is not to say that this is a bad thing or nothing. This is just not my style of music. I, it's not, I'm not a fan of the song. It's not getting a heart. Sorry. Just when songs get too hectic like that, I'm just like, why did this production remind me of Sophie so much? I, 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 it reminded me of Sophie a lot. I don't know why. Um, by the way, I was listening to Sophie for a really long time because Cashmere Cat had Sophie on, um, one song and I've been listening to it for years. I just found that out the other day. I was like, oh. I knew who Sophie was. <laughs> My bae. Ooh, that, mm, well, even though, ooh, 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 uh, I felt that. I don't know what he's saying, so I'm gonna look up the lyrics. Hold on a minute. Smoking on this very cherry, juicy J. Okay, I was like, why is he saying Ray J? Ray uh, J. I love how sonically that song makes you feel what he's talking about. It, he just feels spectacular. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. This sounds, ooh, this sounds good. Ha, like, literally, there has been no lyrics so far, and I'm like, just sonically, it just sounds so good. Hmm? You. you know what the, in the beginning reminded me of? Um, Owl City Fire um, Flies. For some reason, that, uh, dee -dee -dee -dee, for some reason, it, it just brought that back into my memory. <laughs> See, I love when the production sounds like this. It sounds busy, but it's not so jarring that I have no idea what's going on and it's terribly just chaotic. This sounds lovely. I wish I could stay in this range. Just listen to this. You want to be my captain? Ah. I have now finished Crush That Kid album. Let me tell you, I need a collaboration between that kid, Kim Petras, Charlie XEX, or Sophie for production. That's my dream. It would be such a good collaboration. What is it? I don't know. 
but let me just tell you this album is very very good the only songs I skipped out of this whole album was seven minutes in heaven and make out club seven minutes just because I felt like the production was way too busy for me and that's just um a me thing and same with make out club i felt like it was way too chaotic so stuff was happening that was not what i typically would like to listen to other than that go fast bells on you uh kiss me through the phone cut i love how i said that in the beginning and i had no idea that was gonna happen uh taco bell taco bell is my song that is my favorite song out of this album um other than spectacular I'm, I'm i'm gonna say that other than spectacular and then kiss and tell so out of all of these songs i like seven out of nine that's pretty really that's pretty good um i'm surprised that this artist is not bigger but um why um and i really like the lyrics of it taco bell had some really really good lyrics that made me fall in love with the storyline um I could see a music video going into that. It was very much that kid. He didn't shy away from the subject matter. Some of the features on here were really, really good as well. What did you guys think of the album? Let a girl know. Thank you guys for watching like this video if you like my reaction and go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching this video. I will see you guys in the next one.